Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Physics Forum and uh, I'm really really excited to share this video with you as this is my first video on Physics Forum. So today I'm going to discuss problem based on kinematics in which I'm going to talk about how to calculate shortest path between two points. So the problem goes like this. Uh, a room has dimension 3 meter into 4 meter into 5 meter where 5 meter is the height of the room a fly standing at one corner ends up at the diametrically opposite corner then what is the length of the shortest path it can take if there are two uh, parts of this question first if it flies and second part if it crawls right so the flying part is simple so let's take on this question. So the dimension of room is 3 meter into 4 meter into 5 meter, right? So you can draw like this 3 meter, we might take 3 meter, 4 meter, and this is 5 meter, right? This is 5 meter. 5 meters is the height that is given in the question and this is point A where insect is present. Now from here it has to move from this point to diagonally opposite point B. So what would be the shortest path if it flies? So the flying part is simple. Obviously this would be the diagonal of this cuboid, right? So it's simple. So the first part is simple. AB will be simply root under 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square as we know the diagonal of the cuboid is general L square plus B square plus H square so this comes to be root under 50 so 5 root 2 meter so this is not an issue now in the crawling part it may move along any H or it may move along any face also right now it has to move from this point to this point having shortest path. Now we have different possibilities. Let's see what are different possibilities. So the first possibility is that it travel through this path 3 meter, 4 meter and 5 meter but of course this won't be the shortest path. right? So the path length comes to be how much? This comes to be 12 meter. right? Now there is another possibility that it goes through one of the phase diagonal and then move along this path. So in that case, the path length would be 10 meter, which is lesser than this one, but still it's not the shortest path, right? Now it can also move along this phase diagonal and then it will move along this path. So here, the path length would be how much? This is uh, 5 meter. This is 5 meter, this is 4 meter, right? So this would be 5 square plus 4 square plus 3 meter. And this one is 3 meter, right? So this comes to be uh, root 34 plus 3. So this is less than 9 meter. As this would be root 34 will be slightly less than root 36 meter. So this comes to be 9 meter. But still it's not the shortest path. Now what are other possibilities? Now there is one more possibility that it might go through one of the edge so it might reach to this point and from there it might turn to point B. So let's see can we get, get this way the shortest path or not. Right? So to calculate this path what we do we take a vertical axis y y dash which is passing through this edge. And now we unfold this face about this axis so that this face becomes parallel to this face, right? So in that case, what would be the geometrical construction? This is point A, this is point B. And somewhere here, we have this axis y, y dash. Now we can have different points on this edge, right? But which one would be the shortest? And that would be the diagonal of this parallelogram, right? So we can have different paths, like it might go this path. 
to this path or it might go through this path but among all these paths this path will be the shortest shortest one right so the path length here comes to be this is of course this is 3 meter right this is 4 meter and this is 5 meter so the path length comes to be 3 plus 4 whole square plus 5 square so 7 square plus 5 square which is root under 74 meter which is again less than 9 meter but still lesser than this value so this would be the shortest path we can have different possibilities also like we can with the same logic we can calculate different path path lengths but this would be the shortest path right i hope you like my videos so if you like my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to my video also if you may hit the bell icon so that uh, you are notified about my all uh, upcoming videos Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.